Hi, my name is Emmanuel Obodo. I'm a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the United Kingdom. I completed my PhD in biomedical science. I have extensive experience working in NHS hospital as a specialist biomedical scientist. I have used these experiences to help a number of people navigate through interview questions and therefore get their dream job as a biomedical scientist. I'm here to help you navigate interview questions, thereby increasing your chances of getting a job as a biomedical scientist. What I would ask is that you like, share, comment and subscribe to our page. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, it's me again and today we are going to look at something very very important that they always ask again in blood transfusion which is sample validity okay how valid is this sample or that sample once again my name is dr emmanuel lobodo i've been working in nhs hospital as a specialist biomedical scientist i'm also a lecturer here in the uk in biomedical science department okay so let's look at this before i go into the main sample validity i want to explain something to you so the guidelines states that you cannot just determine someone's blood group by doing one blood group so to say that someone is a positive or b positive or a b positive or open it doesn't matter any blood group for you to say this person this is a blood group of this person you need to do that blood group at least two times okay so we have what we call historic that's history we have what we call historic group and we have what we call current group meaning we need two groups to say that this is a blood group of the patient okay now the way it works is that if you don't know the patient at all and this is the first time the patient is coming to the hospital the sample need to be collected by two different member of staff and it should be collected at least 10 minutes apart so one person will collect the sample after 10 minutes another person will collect the sample so we're going to test the first sample that will become a historic group and then we'll test the second sample and that will be a current group in some cases it doesn't have to be that way maybe the person has visited so we tested the person one sample today which is a historic group the person doesn't need any blood then after two days or one month or whatever one year and the person comes again we need only one sample and that will become a current group so to say that someone blood group is this or that you must have tested that blood group at least twice if that is the case then what is the sample validity okay remember that the red blood cell okay the lifespan of the red blood cell is 120 days okay so because of that what we're going to use as a standard now is 90 days so if somebody has been transfused if you give somebody blood what it means then is that you have given the person a donor cell so there's a mixture of the person's cell with the donor cell so that's the mixture of two 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 different cells okay so because of that the person may likely to develop antibody which we are going to discuss in detail okay so because of that if, you also, if the person also receive that blood it means that that blood can stay in that person up to 90 days 120 days as the case may be so if you are saying if you are doing someone's blood group you say if someone has not been transfused you see it now if the person has never been transfused in the last 90 days the blood group of that person will be valid for seven days okay if someone has been transfused within the last 90 days or in the last 90 days the person blood group will be valid for just 72 hours or you can say in the last three months okay it's still the same thing okay three months like 30 30 days times 30 that is 90 days okay the same thing is applicable for someone who is pregnant. A pregnant woman, remember that pregnancy is an implantation, is a form of transfusion. There is another antigen in the woman, so it's a form of transfusion. And because of that, a pregnant woman, the blood group is also valid for what? 72 hours. Why do we say 72 hours? We say 72 hours because it has been established that it will take that the antibody is likely to be developed within 72 hours okay so because of that if someone has been transfused after 72 hours we want another sample 
okay to make sure that the person has not developed antibody due to the previous blood transfusion okay so once again sample validity someone who has not been transfused in the last 90 days the blood group is valid for what seven days someone who has been transfused in the last 90 days or a pregnant woman the blood group is valid for what 72 hours and i've told you that the reason is because antibody can be developed within 72 hours so that's what you get there when it talks in terms of sample validity now remember that in saying that someone's sample is valid it means then after seven days for an example if the person has not been transfused the laboratory information management system that we use here we kind of push the historic result blood group down and the current group data will become a historic group so if the person comes the system will not allow you to issue blood because the person no longer have a current group you go for an interview they ask you what is the sample validity you say if someone has been transfused in the last 90 days or the person is pregnant the blood group will be valid for what 72 hours but if someone has not been transfused in the last 90 days that the blood group will be valid for seven days remember for you to be able to issue blood to a patient there has to be both historic group and a current group thank you very much i'm taking it gradually but i'm telling you i'm going to continue like this until we cover everything in blood bank i'm doing it this way because i want you to understand everything and make sure that you become a blood transfusion master hopefully i'll help you to become that person Thank you very much till I come back here again. My name is Dr. Emmanuel Obodo. Please hit the subscribe button and continue to share, like. Thank you very much.